okay guys in this video i'm going to show you how to make this halter neck cow top so please watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe so first of all i'm going to be marking five inches from the top of my paper like you can see then this point i'm marking is going to serve as my new shoulder line next i'm going to go ahead and take my armhole measurements and for my armhole i'm going to be using eight inches I know you saw me use 7.5 here, but trust me, I ended up using it. Next, I'm also going to mark the entire length of my top, like you can see. Then I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to draw my horizontal lines. This is just to help me to see those points that I've marked properly. So I went ahead to label my points. You can see my starting point, which is also my shoulder line, my armhole, and also my top length. My top is actually a crop top. The next thing I'm going to do is to start taking my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5, and I'm going to mark that on my starting point. Remember that my starting point is also my shoulder line. I'm also going to mark 7.5 on my armhole, on my armhole, please. Then I'm going to grab my ruler to draw a straight line. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to use the curved part on my pattern master to draw my armhole line, my armhole curve rather. So this looks good. The next thing to do now is to start taking my horizontal measurements and I'm going to start from my armhole line. I'm going to place my tape on my armhole line and I'm going to take my boss measurement. My round boss is that we're using is 36, 36 divided by 4 is 9 and I'm also going to add 2 inches allowance. Then my top is a crop top so I'm going to go over to the top length that you guys can see now and i'm going to mark my waist i'm using seven then i'm going to add two inches allowance now i'm drawing a straight line from my bust to my you know top length exactly where we marked them i'm going over to the shoulder line also our starting point to make some you know adjustment so i'm going to be marking three inches from the middle point on my paper like you can see then I'm also going to mark 3 inches again. Remember that my back is 7.5. So that means that in total, we're actually taking like 6 inches. Then I'm going to grab my curved ruler, my pattern master. Then I'm going to be making a new armhole curve. Remember that we're doing something like a halter neck top. So that is why we need to adjust the top to fit what we want. For this part that I'm just cancelling out, it means that we're no longer using it. So that is why... I'm just cancelling it out to make you guys know that we are going to cut it off at the end of the day. Now, for the depth of my neckline, I use 5.5 here. But at the end of the day, I had to increase it. So, if you are doing yours, you can use about 6 inches for the depth of your neckline. Then, I just went ahead to connect it to my 3-inch mark using my free hand. If you don't want to use your free hand, then you can go ahead and use your pattern master or any curve ruler that you want the next thing we are doing is to go over to the top of our paper remember that we left some excess allowance i'm going to be marking two inches here now these two inches you're going to see what we are doing with it then i'm going to grab my ruler and connect this point to that two inch mark like that then i'm going to still take my tape rule remember that i had three inches here i'm going to mark the same thing that we had there and i'm also going to use my ruler to connect it again the reason why i'm doing this is because i want my you know top to have that kind of shape like i'm going to tie it behind that is why i have to do this okay once i'm done with this the next thing is just to cut out my paper and then i'm going to have my front pattern from my shoulder line i'm going to mark my bust point and my shoulder to bust point is 9.5 so i'm taking a straight line using my ruler here then the next thing is to cut then i'm going to grab my paper tape and just glue it like you can see just to tape that part this opening that you can see me do now let's cut on the material i'm going to assume that my paper is on fold here then i'm going to fold my material into two once I do this, I am going to ensure that the mid part of my paper touches the mid part of the material that is on fold. Then this part that I opened, you can extend it by up to 5.5 inches. That is what's going to give us the cowl effect. I'm just going to use my paper tape to attach my paper to my material temporarily. 
this is just to hold the paper against the material properly so that it doesn't shift when i cut this step is not compulsory if you like you can do it if you want you may leave it so guys now that we have everything set the next thing is to cut if you followed all my steps this is what you should have don't worry it looks big it looks like you've done something wrong but you are right on track if you close it like this and you know dress it up this way you will have something like this it's time to cut our back piece of the top and i'm just going to grab my front pattern like this and remember we slashed in the middle so i'm going to be using this paper tape to just tape it then i'm going to go over to my armhole line and i'm going to cut on that line so i went over to cut my back piece the back piece of my top off camera but there are a few adjustments that i wanted to see i added one inch on top and by the side of that top i added one inch as well this is because i want to insert an elastic i was thinking of using a zip but i changed my mind then now i'm using an elastic because it's faster but if you want the zip then you can leave it as the exact measurement that we did so opening it up i'm going to fold this in like this are extra allowance that we added i'm going to go over to the machine and i'm going to sew i'm done sewing and this is what i have this hole is big enough for an elastic band to enter i'm going to be using maybe half inch elastic for this then this is what it looks like once i'm done with this i'm basically going to set this aside now we're going to move on to the front piece for my front piece i cut a facing for it just to make the cow top you know nice and smooth then i also went ahead to cut four ropes that's for each part of my shoulder like you can see that's four ropes so the ropes are three inches wide and for the length i think it was like 10 inches i'm really not sure but this can be according to your preference how long do you want your rope to be at the back when you tie it so guys once i'm done with this i went over to stitch my facing to my front pattern to my front piece but i did not stitch it at the shoulder part i left a little space so that i can attach my ropes properly i'm going to place my rope on my shoulder part and i'm going to just trim because i want them to have like similar slants and once i'm done with this i'm going to attach each rope on each side of the shoulder like you can see i have four sides now so i'm going to attach each one like this i'm going to attach the one at the back like that then i'm going to go over and stitch round so that i have like a smooth closing and once i'm done it is essential to always knot your seams because you want this thing to come out really fine so i'm just notching just slight cuts everywhere that you can see any curves this will make your cow top easy to iron and to lay flat and nice so notch every part not your armhole as well and once we are done with this i'm just going to open up my you know my front piece i'm going to turn it over so that the front is seamless if you want your cow top to come out like this if you want it to be very fine make sure to iron it in fact iron it with a steam iron so that you are going to steam all those sewing that you did and the next thing i'm just going to do is to grab my back piece for the bust line i used the exact allowance i added when i was cutting which is two inches but then again initially i was going to use the zip then later i changed my mind so now i don't want any zip on my top so for my allowance on the waist side now i'm using one inch instead of two and on my bust line i'm using two inches and that is all for this video I'm so sorry I wasn't able to film the end of this video but yes just stitch the side and this is going to be your result. If you like it please subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notification bell to get notified anytime I post. Don't forget to subscribe.